If you guys are like me, finding an outfit sometimes can be pretty difficult. You know, there's a lot of factors. My mood, the weather, my hair, what makeup I'm wearing. And then when I finally do find it, I'm like, okay, now what shoes do I wear? Do I wear boots or heels that I can't even walk in or maybe a cute pair of ballet flats? But then I'm like, okay, these ballet flats, they just don't do it for me. So I go online and I'm like, oh, let me just look up a really cute pair of flats. And a pair that I've been really loving are a pair of uh, cat loafers. And then I find them and they're really cute. And then I look at the price. $600. Oh no. No way. There's just no way. And then I got to thinking, hmm, what if I just made it myself? Like a DIY. So today we're going to make some cat loafers. You're going to need a pair of black flats, a pair of scissors, and some glue and a glue gun, a gold sharpie, as well as some black and gold leather. So to start out, you're going to take your black leather and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to make the cat ears and you're going to just make two little incisions as far apart as you'd like the cat ears to be and then kind of angle it to make a triangle type shape. I know there's a shape for this, but I don't know it. And then you're just going to kind of shape it up and then cut the top and like round it so it makes like a little kitty cat ear. And you're going to need two of those, so then I just laid the one that I already made on top of the uncut leather, and I'm just going to trace it out and cut it so that I have two identical little kitty cat ears. Once that is all finished, you're going to take your gold leather, and you're going to make just two um, smaller versions of the black triangles that we made. These are what is going to go on the inside of the cat ear just to give it a little bit of oomph instead of just having two little black triangles. Now you can do this any color you want. I just like gold because I wear a lot more gold. You can do silver, you can do purple, you can do whatever just as long as the sharpie matches the um, ears and whatnot. Or if you want to be different you can just totally do whatever colors you want. Now you're going to take a black sharpie or if you just want to take whatever and we're going to make the cat nose. So you're just going to follow the shape that I'm doing or if you want to make whatever kind of nose you want. I made like a backwards or a, like a cursive J and I just brought it down and I made kind of like a really curvy C. And I'm just going to cut around this part because I felt it was easier to like cut the shape out instead of trying to actually just cut it out as it is. And you're just going to cut this out as it is. And you're going to have a little kitty cat nose after it. And like I said, you can do whatever shape you want, but I just felt like this looked like an actual cat's nose. You know what I mean? And that's what it should look like. Next up, you're going to take your two little black kitty cat ears and your hot glue gun. You're going to glue the bottom of the black ear, and then we're going to place it behind the loafer's um, tongue so that it sticks out as far or as little as you want so it creates a cat ear effect. Once you're done with the first ear, you're just going to repeat this process um, with the second ear. And I actually had to go back and put a little bit more glue on because it didn't um, like hold all the way. But you guys get the drift and I'm just going to press it down really lightly and carefully because it is hot glue. I can't tell you guys how many times I have burnt my finger. So this is what you guys will have so far. And then we're going to take our two pieces of gold and we're just going to put little dabs of glue on the black part and press down the gold pieces so that it gives a little bit of like a inside of the cat ear. You know how it like on certain cats they're pink. Well guess what? Ours are gold. <laughs> so I'm just going to press this down really lightly and down to the bottom and so it gives a really cute effect. Now you're going to take your gold sharpie 
and my Sharpie was actually broken so this was a really difficult process for me but I suggest you get like the thicker felt tip marker and you're gonna make the eyes you can make the eyes however you like but I'm gonna make mine like an almond shape and almost with a kind of wing eye effect at the top just so it makes it a little bit more chic and you're just gonna create two little almond shapes on each side that represent the eyes of the cat. This is the fun part about this cat is that you can make the inner eyes whatever color you want. I just stuck with the gold. Um, you can do white, emerald, or whatever, but you're just going to fill in a really oval shape to the cat's eyes so it actually gives kind of like a cat eye effect. Now taking your little cat nose and some hot glue, you're just going to glue the back of it and you are going to place it on in the center of the shoe. You can actually place it wherever you want, but if you want like a traditional cat, you can place it just right in the center and just take a something to kind of pat it down and secure it. And then what I did is I took the gold sharpie again and I just made some little kitty whiskers. I did three on each side, um, just, you know, I didn't want to like overdo it. The last thing I did was create a little mouth and I just kind of drew a backwards J and a J and that is it you guys. So those are the cat loafers and this is how I would style it. Um, I always thought, I saw these on Taylor Swift and I totally was inspired by her outfits. So I just put a striped top from American Eagle with this really chunky statement necklace that I got off eBay. And I thought it was just very Taylor and I put a really bold red lip with it as well as just some darker washed denim jeans that are skinny and or these are the jeggings not are skinny jeans these are jeggings and i thought it was just a really casual look and i wore it all day and it was just really really comfortable and then the finishing touch are my little kitty loafers which are really really comfortable i didn't think they would be but they are you guys so that is it everyone. I want to thank you all for watching and if you want to make a pair of these your own, I would love to see them. So make sure you send me a picture using the hashtag cheap to chic on either Twitter or Instagram. My Twitter name is at AllieCruzan23 and my Instagram name is at AllieCruzan. And this was a collab with one of my really good friends here on YouTube, Crystal Creates Chic. There's her video right there and how she just DIY'd some really cute loafers. I will have her channel list below as well as all her social media sites and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.